Hey everyone, Don here with Paleo Tracks, and what I wanted to do today is talk to you about some um, different cordage options. One of them being sinew or deer sinew. Um, deer sinew is a great resource to have and utilize uh, when thriving out in the wilds or in a primitive living or bushcraft or survival situation. Most of the sinew that I come across and that I get typically comes from uh, various animals that I've either harvested or some that I've actually taken off the side of roads. The animals hit on the road, aka a deer, um, I'll pull over, cut off its legs, and get the sinew out of it. So for some of you, you might not know what sinew is. Sinew is, sinew is essentially the tendons of a deer. This is a uh, deer leg bone. This is uh, one that I took right off the side of the road. And this here is the tendon that goes in this back portion of the deer. This sort of gives it that mobility to run. Uh, we have sinew in us, it's all of our tendons. There's all sorts of tendons in various animals. There's back sinew, um, there's gut sinew, which necessarily is in a tendon, more or less uh, the guts of an animal twisted and tightened. But this is deer sinew. Now how you process deer sinew is relatively easy as long as you have the right materials. So how I process deer sinew is, is pretty simple. I have one uh, platform stone, and I have one small hammer stone. I like to use something that's a little bit oblong like this. It gives me the ability to hold it this way. I can smash this way. And that's the little platform I'm hitting on. So basic tools, stones, <laughs> and sinew. Now, uh, once I have uh, cut the sinew out of uh, the deer, it's gonna be white. It's gonna be bone white. It's gonna look like uh, if you're eating a piece of chicken, you find a piece of uh, tendon or sinew running through, or uh, uh, you know, tender for the most part, that's what it looks like. Once you hang it up by a piece of string and you let it dry out, it's gonna dry into this kind of like uh, jerky-like color. Now, once you have this color here and it's completely dried out, all you're gonna do is you're gonna start pounding on it. What I mean pounding on it is you're gonna start tapping it and loosening up all the little individual fibers on the inside to look something like this. This is a piece of pounded sinew and as you can see, I've been knocking on it and hitting on it with the rocks and what it's doing is starting to separate. The individual fibers are starting to separate kind of like a paintbrush. If you push on a paintbrush, they all start to open up. That's essentially what's happening. Then over time, I'm gonna remove chunks of it like this. And then once I have manageable chunks that are similar to this size right here, I can open them up at the midpoint and separate them into even finer pieces and I just pull them right off and that is essentially the processing of sinew in a quick version so again I open it up midpoint and I separate it sinew so let's uh, let's take a few wax on this and I'll kind of show you what it looks like So you can see the difference already from me banging on this to it on process. Now one thing that's on some of these uh, pieces of sinew is there's a little outer sheath that wraps around the actual sinew components. And as you begin to uh, hit it, it's gonna loosen that up. And once it's loosened up entirely, you can almost peel it apart real, real simply. That's the outer sheath of that tendon. So you can start to see that right there, there's that little sheath. Now, you can tear it off, but sometimes it will just give way through the repetition of um, hitting it with the stone. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through this whole piece right here, and I'm gonna bang it all the way down. 
you'll see how it kind of flares out and then uh, we'll come back and we'll discuss some more. So I've been banging on that piece of sinew for a little while now and you can kind of see that it's starting to separate itself out into different little fibers. And that little sheet that I was talking about is this right here. You just pull it off. Now you could still use this, but it's not the best as far as sinew. Now that one giant piece that I had kind of broke into these three smaller pieces and all I'm really going to do is I'm going to continue on with that process on these three. Line it up bang and kind of twist and rotate as I'm hitting it. The one thing you want to make sure is that your rocks are relatively flat. You don't want them to be sharp because if they're sharp you're just going to cut right through that sinew. Alright, so it's starting to loosen itself up. Now, once it starts to open up a little bit more, you can kind of start to see it's going to start separating. Well, I want you to pay close attention to that right there. You can see all those fibers, you can see all those little pieces, and you just grab from the middle and start separating. Grab from the middle and you separate. Now, one thing that I recommend is you take your sinew and you process it down about this size right here this size right here right here and right here because this allows you to take essentially this sinew wrap it up with another piece of it just like this so a little square knot and now you have cordage on the fly I don't want to get too much smaller quite yet because I don't need it but I have it it's ready to go all I have to do is pull one piece out and let's use you know this piece over here for example and really start to fine-tune those little threads those little pieces of that tendon now once I get it smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller to my desired use let's say I have to um, half some arrows or I need to uh, tie some fletchings on or I want to wrap something up essentially I can take one piece just like this all right see how small that is compared to this all right this is my on the move this is how I carry multiple strands without getting it all tangled up and this is when I need one piece put it in my mouth and I'm going to chew it up not chew it just moisten it now while I'm moistening it I'm thinking about, all right, where am I going to do with this? Now this is all wet. Now, in order for sinew to work in its most max effective way, let's say I'm going to half an arrow. I'm going to take this sinew, I'm going to wrap it around that arrow point. When I wrap it around, you can kind of see, it kind of sticks to itself. There's a natural bonding agent uh, mixed with my saliva. It's going to stay there. Now, when this dries, it's actually going to shrink in size, so it's going to create an even tighter hold on that object you're trying to secure. So... Uh, when I need it, I break it down into those smaller pieces, and I can go from there. Additionally, I can take these uh, these pieces here, and I can moisten them together, and I can start to do a re reverse wrap onto these. Essentially, I'm going to twist one this way, one this way, until they buckle over on themselves, and then I start twisting. This is how I can make some bow strings. And when I've done this, I'm going to do it dry because when I wet it, it's going to sink up even tighter. See, I've taken one piece all right, and I've started to twist it together. Now when I need to add more, I add more pieces into it. I won't go into the full reverse wrap uh, process quite uh, in this video, maybe at a later date. But yeah, bottom line, deer sinew is a great, 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 great natural cordage that is easy to find uh, and it's easy uh, to harvest for the most part and turn into a workable cordage. All you need is a good flat rock like this. You can see it's flat across the top. Uh, a good little hammer stone and a hammer stone can be you know any size it's really up to you um, and you don't want it sharp otherwise it's going to be cutting that sinew. So down and dirty uh, sinew cordage is a great survival resource. 
get familiar with it, see a deer head on the side of the road, jump out, get a saw, cut its legs off. Go ahead, pull that sinew right off that back slot of that deer leg, hang it up to dry. Before you know it, you'll have tons of natural cordage to do with it as you please. So thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you around.